even if I could get 20 hours a week, that's all I'm looking for. The United Auto Workers strike against General Motors has entered its fifth week, and now members are trying to find other ways to help make ends meet as General Motors and the union work to continue to reach a deal. Union leaders have given members the okay to seek part-time jobs. TV5's Kate Nadolski spoke with one UAW member who says any extra work he could get right now would be a serious help. This is what I'm gonna have to do. I mean, I signed up for it. It's been almost a month since Derek Seaferly walked out to the picket lines at the powertrain General Motors plant in Bay City, joining his fellow workers with a UAW. It's part of the job. He's been at GM for three years, working with machine camshafts. But now, while on strike, he's making $275 a week. That amount bumped up from $250 over the weekend. Just like anything else, I have bills like everyone does. I mean, mortgage, insurance, taxes consumers and we just got rid of cable and internet but that's how life goes. Derek says he supports his little sister and nephew and the strike pay just won't cut it. He's now looking for a part-time job, something that was also approved over the weekend for the workers on strike. It'll help substantially with, I mean, even if I could get 20 hours a week, that's all I'm looking for. Derek says he's not the only one. A lot of people are talking about doing anything they can to because they, we don't know how long it's going to be. If it's going to be till the new year, that's going to be months into it. With the future unknown, Derek says he thinks both sides can at least agree on one thing. I mean, you can ask the community. I'm pretty sure they're getting rough. I mean, there's a lot of businesses struggling right now because we're not working. In Bay City, Kate Nadolski, W1EM, TV5. The UAW will hold a closed meeting this Thursday with the leadership involved with the strike. No word on what may come out of it.